this week's weekly vlog. If it's the first time stopping by the channel, my name is Indy Daw and I'm originally from Manchester, which is the northwest of England, and for over 20 years I've been living in the Netherlands, uh, not far from Amsterdam, and I live here with my partner Lawrence and our two sons, Joshua and William, and our little furry critters, Jack and Daxter. So everybody's welcome here. Um, I don't know how long this week's vlog will be, it's been a little bit up and down the last uh, couple of months, so uh, we'll see. But anyway, the weekly vlog has begun. Um, I'm feeling a bit better. There's a reason for that, I'll tell you. So I do sound croaky. Sorry, Lawrence is chatting with our neighbour. Oh, she's hung over the fence <laughs> and I can't close the door properly because we've got a, an electric cable running um, in the back garden because we're doing, we're, we're pr doing a hard prune in the back garden this week. Anyway, waffle, waffle. Um, last, if you watched last week's vlog, you know I've been really, really struggling um, with what shaking off what I thought was this flu thing I mean, you can hear I'm still not right but uh, last night Lawrence and I went for dinner in this really nice restaurant that you know I've never ate there before and it was delicious my gosh it was expensive and whilst we, we uh, were there uh, I had a little sort of light bulb moment light bulb moment and I said I, I wonder if this this whole dry coughing thing might be allergy related it's gone Honestly, he's literally, he's gone in the back garden. The neighbours gripped him. <laughs> now he's left our garden and gone to the neighbour's garden. She'll have jobs for him to do, I'm sure of it. <laughs> really fond of her, but anyway. Um, so, yes, uh, I had this light bulb moment and I said to Lawrence last night in the middle of dinner, I wonder if it's allergy related because it just it's odd that I just can't seem to shake this flu off. It could well be, you know, the after effects, aftermath, but, you know, anyway. So, uh, I checked the Albertheim, which is one of the big uh, supermarket chains here in the Netherlands. Um, the one nearest to us, it was open until 10. So, we finished dinner. It was very good. They, we, It was very leisurely. I think our table was booked at 7, and they didn't rush us. It was great. So, I think we wrapped up there about quarter to 10, hot-footed it to the Albertheim. And then I bought some hay fever tablets, and I took one, and then an hour later, I went to bed. What do you know? I managed to sleep um, seven hours, I think it was, or just over seven hours with the CPAP machine with the mask on. I do, I did wake up a couple of times, but not from coughing, thank goodness. So um, I bought this, it's their own brand, but the active ingredient is lor loratadine. Uh, so it's for hay, hay, fe Sorry, course. hay fever and other allergic reactions. And you know what? I didn't cough all night. So now I'm wondering if all this is uh, hay fever, pollen, you know, even pollution. If it is some kind of allergic reaction, I hope so. So I'm going to take another one tonight and see how I get on. Didn't make me drowsy or anything. Um, anyway, aside from doing the garden... Uh, this morning, it's just before 11 o'clock. Um, I think I finally come downstairs about eight, about half seven, eight o'clock. And uh, you can't tell, but I've cleaned the kitchen, uh, which I'm taking that as a really good sign because I, I suddenly, I've woke up today feeling like I have energy. But I said to Lawrence, I have to be very mindful of it that I don't. It's, I don't get lulled into a false sense of security because as quick as I've got some energy, it could go, you know, within a couple of hours. So I just need to pace myself. Um, I can hear his voice. I don't know what they're doing. Jack stood at the gate wondering, you know, what we're talking about. Um, so, yeah, I am going to help Lawrence in the garden. What we're going to do, the along this long, I think you can see here, this long fence, is, there's a flower bed on that there's a flower bed on both sides of the garden our garden's like long and narrow well, it's not even long for, for a dutch garden it's long and narrow um the gardens here are small um but on that side uh we have a trellis on the fence and climbing plants and i've got i think most of it is clematis did i have a jasmine at one one year i can't remember but the one it's the flower bed doesn't begin there i've got a table there with old plant pots on it but after the table uh, the first plant is a honeysuckle. So I said, everything can come off, trash the lot because the trellis that it's all pinned against is broken and keep the honeysuckle. And I don't mind if I just cover that fence in honeysuckle now because it smells delicious. Um, that's a delivery van. 
hope it's not for me. Um, and then it's it's not in in sun for very often that side. So I need to. Lawrence is going to dig everything out. It's a lavender bush that's been in there years, which is just it's the most scorniest, weediest thing. So Lawrence said um, it's time to let that lavender bush go. <laughs> so I'm, I need to look for some uh, plants that like the shade, preferably ground cover. So if you if you if you're a gardener, let me know if you've got any tips. Um, the other thing, what I did yesterday, so I, I said in last week's vlog, I stayed home all day. I needed it. I was exhausted. I'm just having. It's very difficult to make plans at the moment because I don't, I make plans and then it's it's hit and miss how I feel on the day. If I'm like absolutely exhausted, like struggling to keep awake or I'm like bing like today I've got energy uh but anyway I thought I'd show you since I've not got plans to film a podcast yet we'll see we'll see maybe uh I've made uh I've made a good a good start on the area shore which way does it go I think it goes this way so this is how far I've got with it it's not even halfway because as you can see it's not very long I think it's I think I've got a good way to go before I start shortening it again but um this is it uh this is a completely different yarn choice that i went with and this is a this is a cheapest chips uh, acrylic from our local budget store uh Zayman. uh i don't know what's happened the edge is really messy i've clearly done something wrong here but at this point i'm just going to try and block it out and if not i might even do i might even crochet a but an edge you know like a slip or, or a single crochet board on it I mean it's definitely the kind of shawl that needs blocking if you're not a knitter blocking is where when you finish something you wet it or wash it I'll just wet it a little bit and then you pin it out to the shape you want it to go and it dries and then you know it the the wool you know blooms and takes on a different shape so anyway isn't that lovely uh it's a really easy pattern I can recommend it it's the area area or area shawl I uh, forget who made it, but I thought I'd show you that. The only thing is, uh, I dropped some um, chicken korma on it the other night. So I had to I had to cut my ball, <laughs> my yarn, where, and pull off a massive chunk of the wool. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. It's got like a stellina running through. It's like a sparkle. They didn't have the plain cream, but I thought, you know, I've gone for something that bright my washing machine i thought you know what let's go all out um but let's finish um yeah so i've, I've spilled some corn on it so i managed to thought that won't wash out and then i've got this one bit on the back <laughs> i don't know what i did i think I'm a, i think <coughs> oh see <coughs> i was i think we were having a tv dinner the other night and i don't know if i like put my fork or something flicked and then uh, it went everywhere so I've managed to salvage it. I've just got that one bit of chicken cut on it. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. That's upside down. So it's, there's, I think they're supposed to be leaves. But yeah, the edge is very dodgy. Don't know what I did there. But anyway, it's fine. I don't mind. I think that's the top. So this would actually be around your neck anyway. So you can even see it. But yeah, what do you think? Isn't it lovely? Oh yeah, and, and also... Here, there's like this weird step here. You see at the bottom? So I don't know if that'll block out. That is very strange because I checked up my stitch count and it's been spot on the whole way. So I don't know what happened there because it doesn't, if, if it had got mixed up, it doesn't match the corresponding, uh, if it runs, yeah, runs this way. Where I've got this weird step. Ah, it does actually. Yeah, I've done something here. You know what? It's all knitted with German short rows. I think I've got mixed up with my top German short rows and my bottom ones. Anyway, it's fine. I don't mind at this point. I'm definitely not frogging it back. Um, right, this is the third time I've cast it on now. It's I'm sticking with it. Right, I'm gonna stop waffling. Uh I'm gonna go and make some uh noises in the back garden some hints to lawrence because he's supposed to be doing our garden today and not our next door neighbors okay change of plans that was short-lived it's uh 20 past 11 sorry the netherlands in the especially in the residential the suburbs they love 
uh, speed ramps, sleeping policemen, they're everywhere. <laughs> um, I think when I very first started with YouTube, somebody asked me why I was like, always shaking around in the car when I was filming, because they, I think it was someone in the States, assumed that the roads were in a really bad state of repair. It was full of potholes. No, it's because of the sleeping policemen or the speed ramps. <laughs> anyway, I'm almost out of the little residential area and they should be over. Right, so, Lawrence was busy chat, 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 screen. Apparently, uh, one of the um, fence holes uh, is um, loose. So it's not rotten or anything, it's just not set into the ground very well. And our neighbour was worrying uh, that the whole fence would blow over in the wind. I don't think it will, but anyway. So Lawrence has had a look and he said he's going to um, strengthen the hole. Fine. Um, but whilst he was doing that, I uh, I broke three things. Uh, two broom handles and the handle of the hoe. And the reason why is because every year Lawrence keeps saying he's going he he's going to build his own shed not buy one build one and every year I say just buy a flat pack shed and build that no 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 he wants to build one from scratch and every year he doesn't do it and we we have a garage we actually rent a garage um from the council um over the street from us but he doesn't put the tools in the garage so every year all our tools stay out in the garden and now all the handle, the long handles have rotted. So by the time the third thing broke, there was some choice words from me and then Lawrence appeared very quickly in the garden. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've had to go out now. Uh, I'm not going to the garden centre. I'm going to uh, the local DIY store. Uh, I'm gonna try that first two reasons uh, I found the garden centre uh, the big big one will probably be heaving today and I'm not in the mood for that and then the other one that we tend to go you know we just pop in running and out nipping um, last time was there, I had a look at the tools and I, I wasn't that impressed with them I thought they were really overpriced for really crappy quality so I'm heading off to the DIY shop, which our nearest one is called Gamma or Hammer in Dutch. And uh, I'm sure they haven't got like a huge um, selection of, sorry, I'm just seeing if I have to stop at this light. They haven't got a huge selection. I don't know what that beep is. The camera's come on. It was telling me it was too close to the edge. What's all that about? <laughs> anyway, they haven't got a huge, huge selection of gardening tools, but I'm pretty sure I'll get fixed up there. I'm hoping, because it is a nice day, it's a, you know, a freakishly nice day, what's one of them we've not had one all year. Um, I'm hoping it'll be quiet because a lot of people are going out for the day. That's my theory, but we shall see. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling hopefully I get fixed up with some garden tools oh I don't need a new broom because I found one uh, in the laundry room a brand new outdoor you know like a stiff broom uh, Lawrence just needs to attach the, um, the, the handle on it so I just need a hoe and garden uh, rubbish sacks because uh, our green bins are only small and it won't fit in he's almost took down all the um, all the climbing plants off the fence um, I think the, most of them are dead. It just it looks very full and green in the sum, in spring and summer, but behind it, it's all like dead twigs. So, because we've not pruned it for years. Anyway, I've got into real bad waffle mode now. Right, uh, let's see if we get fixed up and I'll catch you in a while. <laughs> Terrible. I'm fighting the sun. I'm just 
This is my, uh, we've got a kitchen diner, if, you, if you're new or you don't know. Um, so I'm sat at my uh, kitchen table and I've got a skylight like right there and the windows behind me and it's really sunny outside. It's beautiful. I don't think it's as warm as yesterday. I think yesterday we expected a high of 24 and I think it got to like 22, 23 uh, where we live. But uh, I think there were, they were, sorry, I've got a hair on my eyelash. I think we was expecting or we were expecting uh, a high of 17 today, but it's beautiful. But as a result, I need to sit here, I'll show you why in a second, but the sun is just, when it, when it comes out, I'm going to be squinting at you, so just bear with me. I'll try and talk quickly. Still irritated. I'm, I'm convinced now it's an allergy. I'm absolutely convinced of it. But the tablets that I spoke about, I think it was yesterday, um, you can only take one in 24 hours. And I had, I slept all night again with my mask on. So, you know, it's I'm willing to risk this croakiness um, for the sake of having a good night's sleep because I, so I didn't wake up feeling like oh that was a good night's sleep I woke up naturally I think it was about seven-ish I woke up um, woke up very sore uh, which is an indication of two things one that I've, I've not moved around enough in my sleep I get it but also some aches from the gardening yesterday which so I don't mind them they're good aches last night what, when did I last speak to you? I think Lawrence and I ended up going to Hofdorp. Uh, he was he was sore, he was tired. The green bin in the back garden is completely chocker full. Uh, I couldn't get refuge, refuge, refuse, garden refuse sacks uh, from the, uh, the hammer, the DIY shop. So I just bought uh, like really thick black bags. I said, well, just bag it up. We can take it to the um, the rubbish dump. And um, they just kept tearing and poking through. So I said to Lawrence, down tools, let's give it up. We were both tired, we were hot. Uh, the garden's still a mess. It just needs cleaning up. If it feels like it later after hockey, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so I said, okay, let's, I think it was like 3.30. I said, let's pop to Hofdorp because we needed hand soap for the downstairs loo, the cloakroom and uh, the kitchen. And Lawrence really wanted, he liked that we had uh, soaps from hand soaps from the rituals last time. So he said, let's just get the same soap from the rituals and we'll go out and have yeah, a walk around. So that in mind, uh, we bought the hand soaps. We bought the precious amber, I think, for the kitchen, which is the same scent that we're running in the rituals perfume genie. So in the evening, I think between 8 and 10 p.m., it, you know, the whole lounge smells of it. We've got it on a, an app that we're running. That's Precious Amber. And then I can't remember what it is in the downstairs bathroom, cloakroom. It's green. I've already put them out. Oh, and the other thing I didn't know, the lady at Rituals told me, oh, you can get, um, it's a refill. So I don't know if you just take your bottles in and you get a price off for the refill. So I said, well, next time I come, I'll have four bottles because I've run out. If I'd have known. Anyway, waffle, waffle. I'll, I'll get to the point of why I'm sat at the table. Bear with me. Um, so yeah, we had a walk around Hofdorp. Uh, I bought some beautiful uh, white, like they're like a greenish white rose, long stem roses with some, I think it's gypsophilia or it's, or it's from the same kind of family. And because um, I've got that nice blue and white enameled vase that I bought. Uh, and Lawrence, I was like, well, I could do some nice flowers. And Lawrence said, well, just get them, just get them. You know, so anyway, I did. The guy at the flower store already arranged them nicely. So literally all I had to do was put water in the vase, the um, plant um, food, snip the elastic, I chopped some ends off because they were still a bit long and plonk them in. They were already arranged for me. So hopefully I'll put some footage in of that. Whilst we're in Hove I said to Lawrence, okay, I will buy some uh, some um, fake flowers to make my wreath. So, as promised, this is a bit heavy. This is the uh, this is the wreath holder, the display stand that I bought. It's from a company called either you pronounce it Loberon or Loboron, Loboron, Loboron. I'll try and put a link below, or if not, how you spell it on the screen. And you could get it in white, and I got this nice grey. 
uh, cast down. You see the sun's out, if I go, oh, it's, it's cloudy. When I go in, it dazzles you um, into the camera, I mean. And uh, it's already like aged. Uh, a bit disappointed, because I think it was like 40 or it wasn't cheap, that there's no protection on the base. I would have expected some little rubber or felt feet on it. But anyway, it's an easy fix. Um, so yeah, that's the stand. And then what you, you can hang things off here, your choice. Uh, I mean, like just ornaments or how they had it advertised. This is the wreath that I already had. So it, you ha you, it hangs there and it's suspended with by four ribbons so it sits like loose around it. So that's the reef I already had. What is this made of? I can't think of, I've had it years. I got it from the garden center years ago. It doesn't say, rattan, it is, it's rattan. Okay, uh, I made one, um, it's actually at the workshop, it's at the art center for, uh, I made like an autumn reef. Some of you, sorry, if you've been around a while from the very old podcasts, which are still, in a playlist on this channel somewhere um might remember that so this is the this is the reef i'm going to use it's going to suspend it over that i bought two coloured ribbons from sustran grenner if that's how you pronounce it so i bought two reels there they were three euro 54 cents or in pounds three pound 46 um and you get um it's 23 millimeter wide and you get nine meters on each one so i've got this nice sage green or i've got this nice ivory off-white color so i think either one will go and then they didn't have any peonies or anything i ended up going to quite a few shops i got these from the xenos like these eucalyptus sprigs and I couldn't find any flowers that I liked because I don't I don't want colour, I want I want nice neutrals. So I end up getting these sprigs from the action. It doesn't say what they are though. Just as artificial flowers. Uh they're like some kind of blossom. So I'm think I'm gonna snip them and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of make a wreath on a wreath. So these will sit the green. <laughs> you see me? Sorry, not doing a good, not doing a good job of explaining. So I'm going to um, put. Actually, I could just make a wreath of them. Thinking about it, or do I like? I'll see. I'm going to play. So I think I like the wood of the rattan, not the wood. You know the the wood colour. So I'm going to weave them around, and then I have to decide. I think maybe the green. Yeah, I might go with the green ribbon to suspend it. And then, technically, I could put all little ornaments around it. I might put eggs. I don't know if I will. I think that's. Um, I think I'm, I'm going for like less is more this time. I think, but we'll see. And then the other thing I got. I need to find my net, my wire clippers. Is I got this. Uh, they had silver gold and this green, uh, like a wire. So you get 30 meters of this, and it's a one millimeter thick. So I just went for the green because I can use it in the garden. That's why I bought it. It was actually, this was in the gardening section and the gold and silver was in like the craft section. Uh, and that's it. That's everything I bought. So yeah, that's why I'm actually sat at the table now. Where my eyes are watering. It's that bright. I don't know if you've seen how bright it is on camera. Uh, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to open the door up. I had it open, but with these planes going off. So I'm going to sit here with my wire, find my wire cutters. Actually, mine are at the workshop. Oh, so I'll find Lawrence's wire cutters, open the windows. Uh, I could even sit in the garden and do it, it's that nice. Um, it's a bit windy. And um, I'm gonna put my noisy kettle on, make myself a nice cup of coffee, sit here, maybe catch up on some YouTube and just faff around with this and see what, what I'll come up with at the end of the day. Lawrence, um, I think he's due home from hockey around three-ish. I'm feeling okay today. I'm a bit tired. We'll see if Lawrence wants to go out for a drive or something later. I'm not fussed, to be honest with you. I might go out and do a little bit more pruning and sweeping. And uh, I was on weed duty yesterday. Uh, I got I bought a hoe 
um, from the um, the Helma, the DIY shop. So it's just literally, you just, and it's on a really long tangle, so just scraping the um, paving stones, you know, the weeds and the moss in between them. So I might do a bit of that in the front garden. I'll see how I feel. I'm happy to rest a bit. I think, I said I'd stop waffling and I'm still waffling. I think this week I might have to go into the office two or three times this week. I seem to recall I've got stuff going on. I'll waffle about that tomorrow or the day after. We'll see. Right, I'm I am going to stop. I'm going to make a coffee. I'll see you in a while. Bye for now. <laughs> weather is so weird. Lawrence has just told me about one o'clock this morning, I think he said, there was a massive rainstorm, thunder, lightning, the whole shebang uh, <laughs> over our house and it completely slept through it. That's a good sign. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm, I've got all these marks on my face from the mask. Hopefully they've gone by the time I get in work. Anyway, if they're not, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I think they used to meet at my office now. <laughs> All kinds of strange disarray. Anyway, um, so yeah, come on, you've got right away. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there was a huge thunderstorm. Completely missed it. Um, good news. I'm I'm gonna try. I'm trying to not go on about the whole CPAP machine sleep apnea stuff, but it, you know. It's difficult because it is it is my life at the moment. But I don't want to bore you all. <laughs> but um, anyway, good news. I slept through last night with the mask on. So but as you can hear, I'm still <coughs> very... Um, oh, this car's letting me go. I'm still very um, hoarse. I think is the right word, hoarse. I'm convinced it's um, allergies. I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> waffle, waffle. So yeah, I'm going in the office. I uh, actually have to go tomorrow as well. Uh, funnily enough, I've got two meetings at the same hotel, which is very random. Anyway, uh, so this evening, um, I think a colleague of mine has left, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're just meeting for drinks and nibbles, a few of us, or if it's dinner. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, but the hotel that we're going to has had a complete refurb and I've not ate there. I have I have ate there when we had our, our uh, department Christmas do. We had private dining, so not actually ate in the restaurant itself. The private dining was fantastic. It was really nice. Um, anyway, and then the other thing uh, I forgot about uh, till I checked my agenda, so I've documented it. Um, I've got my second appointment at the um, skin clinic. Ooh, so I'm going over these speed rump, ramps, rumps. <laughs> um, so for the laser treatment, this is the second one. So um, it is my, I've got a little bit of makeup on. My chin is a lot less red in the morning, but it's not where I want it. And I think the veins have probably reduced like 50%. So I'm hoping to see quite a big difference with this second treatment. Anyway, I am going to, you know, I'm going to document it and then when I've finished, I'll put out a little video of how the whole process went. Yes, that's interesting. Um, and then, oh yeah, and that, this here's something I did yesterday. Um, I'm really, really struggling health-wise, as you all know. And I'm struggling with my energy and I've been racking my brains about what, small things I can do to just you know get me going and I thought you know what I'm gonna either I'm gonna either start doing yoga or Pilates at home I have done yoga many years ago I did um healing yoga which was great I did it in this very small group um 
but I didn't like all the uh, 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 all that panting stuff. That's not me. I didn't like that. <laughs> I know it was very good. You know, once a week somebody'd end up crying. I think I cried once. You know, so but I, I don't want to do that. Um, and I thought, you know, I just want something that's very handy, fits around my day, and is not going to knacker me. So in my lunch break yesterday. Uh, had a look had a, on Netflix. Actually, if you are, I think if you are proficient at yoga or Pilates, I wouldn't say beginner friendly. If you've got a Netflix account, depending on your region, obviously. But there's um, Loga, uh, Loga Yoga, and Keep Feet, uh, Keep Fit. Oh my God, I can't speak. Keep Fit um, series you can follow. I mean, free classes with your Netflix account. How great's that? And also just keeping fit in general. But I had I watched a few of them and was like, mm, not really feeling it. So I went on YouTube. We've got a smart TV, so put YouTube on on the big telly, and um, I followed this um, twenty minute uh, uh, beginner Pilates class. I have a yoga mat. I just lay out in front of the TV. And everybody was home, and I did twenty minutes of Pilates. Badly, I'm going to I'm going to say that just now. <laughs> Uh, I did all the exercises, but you know, not well. I struggled with pretty much everything because you know, I'm just not flexible. And what I did notice, um, anything holding my arms above my head was a real, real struggle, you know, especially for my neck, all on the left side. Uh, so clearly, I've still got issues with these hernias, uh, but also my right side wasn't very, I could lift them over my head, but my gosh, the pain! So uh, I've put it in my agenda because I thought I'm, I'm not very good at sort of in my head making appointments. I either forget or I'll talk myself out of them. So what I've done, I've put it in my phone and an, an, an alarm. I'm working from home on Thursday, so I'm going to do a class on Thursday. I'm going to do exactly the same one. And then I was reading up on it and they say beginner Pilates you should do two to three times a week. So um, maybe I'll do one at the weekend. And then uh, what I've also found out is that uh, you do start to feel the benefits of Pilates uh, in around the three week mark. I'll be happy with that. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. If I can, um, if I can find the link, because um, it's on the TV and I wasn't logged onto my YouTube account, I should be able to find it on the TV. I'll make a note of the channel, I'll do it and I'll put a link below if you want to have a go and do it with me. Do it with me. I'm trying to convince Jeanette to do it with me too. If you're watching Jeanette, I'm going to be checking on you. <laughs> um, so yes, that's uh, that's good. I feel I'm at the point now, so the CPAP machine is clearly helping me because I'm feeling a little bit of motivation. I don't feel motivated. I've got a gym membership. <laughs> the boys use it. I don't feel motivated to go to the gym just yet. I don't feel like I've got that much energy, but I definitely feel motivated to begin. And I think beginning is often hard in itself, isn't it? Right, I'm going to stop waffling now because now I'm going to go through Amsterdam Sports through all the noisy little speed bump things. So I'll stop waffling and then uh, I'll catch up with you later. See you in a while. On, I'm very sorry. What do you want? Oh, I nearly knocked. Oh, oh, I nearly knocked my, my precious cup over. What do you want? I think Dad still wants to go out, but it's raining, so I'm not even entertaining him by opening the door because he'll just make me stand there while he thinks about if he wants to go out or not. Waffle, waffle. I hope you can hear me. Um, I don't know if you can see. I have got makeup on. Uh, I had the second treatment of the laser done uh, yesterday. Uh, so I have my cheeks done and then you can't see but there's like quite a, a or you maybe can't see it so well there's like a quite a dark purple mark there 
it feels fine totally fine first time i had it done it felt a little bit like sunburn uh the clinic think i only need two but i've made a third appointment just to go back and have a, a, a look what i've noticed is um it was like maybe like two weeks after the first treatment that the redness was going down so yeah we'll see i'm quite happy with it some of these might turn, the little thread veins might turn like really purple. That's perfectly normal. Anyway, that's what I did yesterday. yesterday. Um, I'm trying to think when I last had a chat with you. I think maybe you might have seen on, um, I think Tuesday. Yeah, I think, I think Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, I think Tuesday evening we had a team, well, not a whole team. We had a, a dinner for a colleague. I think I might have mentioned that. And then, um, we decided to start with cocktails. I had I had one and didn't drink anything else after, and that was very early, very, very early on, actually late afternoon, so I was perfectly fine. I think we left about nine-ish. Um, so maybe you've seen some footage of the, um, what do they call the, the coffee's barista? Mixologist, that's it. Uh, although there was no fancy, you know, shaking and stuff, but he, he did a little show. Hopefully I've condensed it down to you know, a couple of seconds, hopefully. Um, so that was nice. Uh, yesterday, uh, I went back to the office again. So I've been in two times, like Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Um, had another busy day. Uh, I ironically went back to the same place that we had the, di <laughs> the dinner at the night before. We had a team... Um, a work meeting it wasn't a jolly uh but it was very very nice and it was very productive uh and then i had to leave i think it was about 2 30 to get back here for my appointment so uh gosh i'm actually quite tired uh sorry to bore you again yesterday i woke up with a really bad headache and i couldn't wear that mask the whole night i don't know how many hours I managed last night when I got home, actually, I got home about, after I went to the clinic, I got home about 4.30. I had to go to bed. I was completely wiped. I messaged Lawrence and said, I'm going to bed. Sorry. He was at work. Uh, and then I think uh, it was fitful. I didn't sleep properly, but I did doze off. I think I came down about 6. And I still had this headache. Anyway, I tried with the mask. I, I think I managed three hours. And um, I don't remember taking it off in my sleep, but I clearly I, I'd un unhooked it. I hadn't just sort of, well, you can't pull it off. I'd actually unhooked it and hung it on the side. Don't remember it. Anyway, so I'm feeling a bit rough um, at the moment. The weather has taken a turn. It's been a beautiful for days here, and now it's raining. A um, couple of things to show you. Should we do a little shopping haul? Uh, when, uh, after I went to the clinic, um, I went into, uh, actually into the village itself, because it's the clinic's on a side street, and I needed to pick up a few things. So I popped in the crowd vat. Uh, well, one thing I ordered online, um, I needed some vitamins, and I wasn't sure when I'd be able to go to the, um, the shops this week. And um, I ordered some B12 for Lawrence, and some magnesium for me and um whilst was ordering this is from the atos which in the, in the uk is boots uh they had a promotion on all kinds of makeup well i can't resist because you know i like a bit of makeup and uh they had this elf halo glow which is basically um a highlighter I'm partial to a bit of a highlighter you know in the summer and it's one of these little spongy uh you know where you uh dab it I'll put that, oh, you can't see in, don't want to squeeze too much product out. But I don't know if you've seen in the, maybe. It's very subtle. So, you know, just, I've not got any on today, obviously. But, um, you know, just for you, I just usually do a little bit. I do, I do a little bit of highlighter here, just above my brow and then here. Sometimes the end of my nose, top of my lip. You know, just when I've got a bit of tan and I'm going out, out. Obviously, I don't wear sparkly things for work. <laughs> but I just kind of fell in my basket. I've gone for uh, Halo Beauty Glow, Rose Quartz. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But yeah, it's, it feels quite nice. It's a lovely colour. You've actually got a powder um, highlighter in this shade. So be interesting to see how they compare anyway so that was i ordered that online i ordered something else online i'll show you in a minute but while we're on the makeup uh thread um 
I also, oh, that wipes off really easy actually, I hope it stays, anyway, what for? Um, so I popped into the crowd wrap, which in the UK, the ATOS where I got the e.l.f. makeup pot from is, is Boobs, it is actually Boobs, it's the same company. And then there's another um, store in the Netherlands, crowd wrap, which is, it isn't the same company, but it, it, I would liken it to Superdrug. So it's like a little, little bit more budget friendly than the ATOS. So, um, I needed some deodorant and then I saw on the makeup stand something caught my eye it was buy one get one free on the Maybelline stand and I thought I'm always looking for new lipsticks so I ended up buying a lipstick and then there was nothing else I wanted on the stand but it, I had something for free so I bought something I don't even know if I wear it but anyway this is what I bought I've got it on now I've had it on all morning it's this um Superstay vinyl ink and I don't know what shade, it doesn't say, oh, shade 20, Koi, it's like this pink shade. I thought, because it's super stay, I thought it would dry like matte, you know, and some, sometimes these long stay lipsticks, you just end up with like a ring around the outside of your lips because it wears up in the middle. And it's actually, it's tacky, like a lipstick, a pleasant tacky, but it, I can still rub my lips together, it feels like I've got like, either a very like a thick lip gloss or a creamy lipstick and it's quarter past ten and I've had this on since eight not that I was going to wear lipstick to be on camera but it was on the side and I thought uh oh I'll try sorry on my work camera I mean teams um but uh I'm quite it's a bit strange but I quite like it I'm like I'm I'm sorry I didn't buy get another shade now since it was buy one get one free but anyway if you're in the mood for a lipstick that stays on a bit longer it said 16 hours I can't see that myself but anyway but um there seems to be there's no transfer or if there is it's slight but when I'm when I put it to my um no, see, it's still, it's nothing comes off. But when I do this, it still, it feels tacky. But it's nice. It, it actually feels like I'm wearing lipstick, but it, it's not going to disappear in an hour. That was interesting. Uh, so the thing that I got for free, because I wanted the, I wanted the lipstick, is um, I got this uh, uh, Maybelline uh, Instant Anti-Age Perfector. I thought it was a foundation, but it's actually, it's a, it's a weird thing. It's four in one glow makeup. So it's a primer, a concealer, a highlighter, and a BB cream. And I went for light, medium, moyenne claire. I don't know what it means, 1.5. So that's what I went for. And it is a little bit, I've not got any on today. I just, just I don't even know if I'll. I will try it. I will definitely try it. I'm not really fond of foundations and BB creams. I've only got concealer on my chin because it's, you know, it's a bit red. But again, what is it? It seems to be a new thing. So the the Elf has got this spongy applicator thing. And then Maybelline has got this spongy applicator thing. What I like about this one you have to squeeze. Uh, but what I like about this Maybelline one is that you... Uh, I've only turned it once just to see... What well, wants to get the product out? I turn it several times, uh, and then as soon as I saw it appear, I stopped. But um, you just you just turn it and it clicks, so it actually pushes out the right amount. But that's quite nice. Um, what if I try it? I'll let you know. Although it'll probably be like if I go out, out, and then I'll forget to tell you. But yeah, I thought I'd show you a little makeup haul if you're interested. Uh, and then so I just said I ordered something else online. I in the summer at home. I live in my Haviana uh, flip flops, yeah, flip flops. I've got, I don't even know how many pairs I've got. I absolutely love them. But I've noticed, and also the rheumatologist said this as well, that my arches have dropped and um, I had x-rays, you know, a couple of months ago. And it's confirmed that, you know, yeah, I've got osteoarthritis in both feet. I thought I did. I, I knew I had it. In, I've been diagnosed that I had it in my knees, both my knees, my lower back, and my shoulder. But they said, yeah, it's in, now it's in my hands and my uh, feet. Anyway, so um, and I've noticed when I'm wearing my Havianas and they're not that comfortable anymore. So I was like, oh, what to do? What to do? So anyway, I keep seeing these advertised. Uh, you know, as the power of social media, these um, arches, um, uh, flip flops. 
the cord. And the cord arches, I don't put new shoes on the table, well, technically it's an island, but anyway, uh, is because they've got this, they're just, they they feel, if you've ever, if you've ever felt or worn Crocs, it feels exactly the same material as a Croc. It's like this high density foam. And it's got this, uh, I don't know how well you can see it, maybe, yeah, here, you can see it's built up in your arch, that's what they're called arches. And they do sliders, which are the ones where, you know, you have like the the, the band going over your foot and then you've got these um, toe posts or thongs. The other thing what, I, what attracted me was, uh, so the, the foot support, uh, there was three things, foot support, the toe post, it's all moulded in. So you've got no danger of it coming out. Or what's happened with my Javianas, a couple of pairs, is that they've, um, sometimes they, they rub around the toe post because it's all in one, it's fine. Uh, and then the other thing, I was worried because some brands of flip-flops, I can't wear because they're too narrow. These are too narrow. What you can do, I'm not gonna demonstrate, but they've said um, you can actually, um, you gently pull on the side and they're stretchable. So you can actually stretch them to fit your feet. So I was sold. I don't know how much they were now. I've got, I wear um, a UK five or a European 38 and they do, it's a double size. I think Javiana's is the same. So in a Javiana, I wear a 37, 38, I think. Yes. Uh, and then these I ordered, I read to just, size up a bit so I've got a 38 and a half to a 39 so it's a half size or a UK five five and a half fit like a glove perfect I've not actually spent a lot of time walking in them I don't need to stretch them because they do there is they're not tight but they're a snug fit and I don't I don't want to naturally overstretch them so I'm not going to mess around with these but um straight away they feel quite comfortable here I don't know if they're going to rub me here though I'm not sure but I think you just, your feet have to just get used to things, don't they? Like your skin, I don't know, you end up like, you build up like a callus, don't you? You know, your skin ends up. So we'll see. It's just that bit there I'm not entirely sure about, but I'm going to, I'll road test it. But I thought, you know, if you're in the market, you know, if you're coming up to spring, summer months, wherever you are, or if this is the future, and, you know, you're watching Dawn of the Past, um, you know, I thought I'd share them with you. And then they do various uh, colours, and then they even do, they even do, the black one, uh, they do a little rhinestone. And I've got the black rhinestone Javiana ones. Actually, I've got the black ones. I've got the green ones. I think I might have the gold ones as well. Quite a collection. I'll still well wear my Javianas, but not, you know, I wouldn't wear, like, go out for a whole day, you know, wandering around the shops in them. I think they'd be okay, like, for the beach kind of thing. But uh, I think if these are comfortable, I'd be happy to just... You know, if I need to go out for a few hours shopping and, you know, that's the purpose of them. Right. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, Lawrence uh, has taken Jack. Uh, sorry, my eyes itchy. Lawrence has taken Jack to the groomers uh, to um, be plucked. He is the kind of breed that you can't, don't clip him because um, he'll end up with, really bad skin condition because he's got what they call a broken coat or a double coat and it's because they're he's a terry he's a hunting dog and um when uh when you did your use them for hunting well, it do uh their fur is it, it's built in a way that if it gets caught on bramble or scrub it just plucks out so if you clip them you're not um, taking off the loose fur. And then our, our old dog, Gustav, who's exactly the same breed, Parsons Terrier, a broken coat. Uh, somebody in Sweden ended up clipping him and he had skin conditions for years. Even when Lawrence moved from Sweden to the Netherlands and brought him with him. And still, he, you know, he had issues with, he was always itchy and it just took a good few years to get his coat right again. So it sounds a bit extreme to pluck the dog. It doesn't hurt them. It actually it feels amazing. And it's basically you're just taking all that rough top coat off and leaving the nice smooth hair underneath. And then it allows the rough coat to grow back. So that's why it grows back very fluffy and curly. And it's a little bit coarse, the hair, because we manage it properly. So I think we usually get him plucked about twice a year. Technically, we could do three times, but two is enough for him. Um, 
I've said to Lawrence, make sure you tell her that um, he's um, arthritic. He's Jack's 10 or 11 now, and uh, he's got arthritis. We're seeing it. He's just, he's, all of a sudden, he's just slowed down. I mean, I said to Lawrence, I mean, Daxter's like a year or two old. I think Daxter's about 13 now, 12 or 13. I mean, Daxter's still a spring chicken. But yeah, Jack's really slowed down. Even in the morning, it used to be like this time last year, whoever was first up in the morning, Jack would go ballistic. It would, it, it acts like he'd not seen you for years. He was like, just, and now it, it, it is, we, we're those owners that we let our pets sleep on our sofas. They've, they've got beds. There's a bed right here next to me. They sleep in the beds now and again, but we're not precious about stuff like that. Uh, not knocking anybody who is, but that's just how we live. And, um, you know, he's, he's usually, he's lay on um, on the corner of the sofa, flat out, and then he looks, and then he, he wags his tail, and then you can go over and pet him, and then he, he's like wags, and then he just goes again. So I think, and he's just catching up with Jack. Oh. Um, how old was Gustav when we had to have him put to sleep? I think he was 13. So yeah, Jack's like 11 now, so you know, he's slowing down. Anyway, gosh, what a morbid story. So, Jack's at the groomers. Then this, Lawrence has just gone somewhere very exciting. But I'm going to tell you about that in next week's vlog. Because I've got something to show you. But I won't be able to show you till the weekend. I'll leave it at that. Right, I'm going to stop waffling now. Uh, I don't know what my plans are for tomorrow. I forgot to check my agenda. I don't think I've got any appointments. Uh, I wouldn't mind just resting. I'm very, very tired. Uh, hopefully the weekend it's going to be dry. I'm just looking at the garden. We still have to, we have to tidy everything up. The green bin was um, empty yesterday. So we've got, we can just get the rest of the cuttings in the bin and it cut a little bit back, a little bit more off the fence. Might go to the garden centre. I don't know if I mentioned this. Maybe, was it last week or maybe this week? I can't remember. Um, I filmed some of my uh, my pots and I've got uh, a pot out there with like ornamental grass and it's thriving. So, and it's uh, it's in a pot, but it's at the end of that flower bed. So Lawrence said, actually, it might, it might be an idea to just pl plant the ornamental grass. He wanted to split the pot, but I said, no, let's not touch it. It's, something's finally growing in that corner. It's next to the um, olive tree. So I think we might pop to the garden centre and buy a couple of grasses because we just want something that will grow in the shade, low maintenance, don't have to do anything with it. Hopefully it spreads and fills the bed up so we not, don't have to worry about weeding or not a lot of weeding. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. I have to go back upstairs. Uh, make my coffee. I've got a meeting in half an hour. And uh, I've actually got quite a few meetings today. I'm so tired. Honestly, I'm, I'm exhausted. Right, waffling over. I'll see you in a while. see me uh it's a sunny day woohoo uh it said uh it says 19 degrees centigrade on the dashboard um i've got a really thin t-shirt on and then this um it's like a it's like the style of a denim jacket but it's fabric it's like knitted and embroidered and i've had this quite a few years now if you're interested it's from dd <laughs> uh but it's nice it's like um it's like, what do they call them? No, not a coatigan, but it's if there's the equivalent of a jacket, a coatigan, ja jackigan. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, um, anyway, um, let's turn. I've got the AC on, the air conditioning. Uh, I think I'll go this way. Um, I'm just going to pop to the village. I've got to go to the post office. Um, yesterday, managed to edit the vlog thus far and we're almost at an hour so i think i'm gonna just wrap it up here sorry there's a load of blowout isn't it lovely sunshine um yeah because i've waffled a lot uh, what what i will tell you if you're still here congratulations you've made it almost not quite almost at the end um yesterday the the secret maybe some of you guessed cloak and dagger uh 
Lawrence uh, received delivery of our new boat. We have a new boat. Um, so I, I didn't want to share it until it was we had it because uh, he was expecting delivery yesterday. But you know, maybe there's something you know he wants to, you know, they, they need to have another discussion on or something didn't come with it or wanted to change something. So. Um, in my mind, I was planning to do the big reveal next week. But anyway, uh, we've not sailed it yet. It's all working. Um, but it's moored up at the... It's in the water, but it's moored up where our winter storage is. In the morning, uh, Lawrence is going to um, sail it round to our summer mooring. And uh, we're hoping it fits. It's still... It's under five metres long. Uh, it's a little bit wider than our uh, old boat, so it's a little bit longer and a little bit wider. So it's a lot. It, sh it technically it should be a lot more stable in the water because our other boat was very narrow and it rocked a lot. Uh, and also um, the sides are higher, so when if you're sitting on the side, it's more comfortable. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll try and remember to stick a picture in of it at the end, and hopefully I'll put a picture of. Uh, that um, wreath display in at the end because I think there is some video but I don't know if it, I don't know if you can see it properly so I'll try and remember to do that um, but in any case it's supposed to be a, a nice weekend this weekend so we will be going out for a little sale so in next week's vlog I'll show you the new boat with the real to mix with it it's not brand new, brand new. It's from, um, it's a 2023 model, so almost new. In in the boat world, that's quite new. And um, yeah, we're just highly delighted. And we we were it, we were very lucky. We we could part exchange our old boat. The boat itself is worth nothing, but the motor, you know, it's all about the motor. And it just saved us the hassle of you know trying to sell our boat secondhand, you know, because you know you advertise it people say they're coming then they don't turn up and it's just a whole hassle and then they would start bidding and oh so um i said to lawrence just let's see if they'll just take it off our hands so they did and uh, we didn't get a bad price for it really considering it's so old but as i said it's all about the motor anyway um i think that's everything um i won't be putting out the laser video um yet because uh, I think I'm, I might have mentioned it a couple of days ago that I'm going back in four weeks for a final checkup and the clinician thinks I won't need any more treatments but we're going to make the decision on that so hopefully in another month or so uh, is she letting me go? in another month or so I'll put out the full video of the laser treatment and uh, you know I can actually share the photos are amazing that she's taken because they're under you know quite bright light you really see all the veins but uh, so far so good I'm quite happy with the results uh, it's, it's a bit more bruised today and the and some of the veins uh, are purple but I've got some makeup on but it's, if they're purple that's a really good sign because it means that they're they're dying off um, I think that was everything uh, this weekend we're gonna go we're gonna go out for a little sale um, I'm not I'm, I'm not feeling great I'm not gonna lie I've still very very tired I've not got much so much energy so I'm gonna have to pace myself uh, tomorrow evening um, one of our friends daughters is turning 21 and um, they're having a party for her and she's in, and, and, and my friend has invited some of the girls. So that's going to be great fun. And apparently it's optional, but the theme is black and gold. So I'm going to have to go through my wardrobe and see if I've got, I have got a really nice gold dress. Actually, I've got two really nice gold dresses, but I think they're a bit over the top for, you know, a 21st birthday party. One of them's like more Saint-Tropez and beachy and the other one is, oh, it's the sequin one that I uh, went to the gala in. So anyway, I'll dig something out of, not like I'm short of clothing, is it? Right, at this point, I'm going to um, stop waffling. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, all you guys, you keep coming back every week and you know you comment and you like and you know you're just so you're just so kind and supportive and especially you know dealing with all this horrible sleep apnea you know the health issues you know i re i really really value your you know your your support and your kindness seriously i feel like i've got you know all the you know, like a big group of friends all sort of cheering me on so you know 
I don't want sympathy, but the support is fantastic. Uh, and if it's your first time stopping by or you're quite new to the channel, um, you know, I hope you're enjoying having a weekly waffle with me. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, uh, as Sam, I can beg in, maybe I am, please hit the subscribe button and help our little channel grow. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to sign off. Take care. Bye for now. And I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye for now.